exciting day because I get to show you my haul. <laughs> you know, I, I, as I said in the last unboxing uh, video, I don't shop much, but when I do, I mean it. <laughs> so, uh, let's get started and I'll show you exactly what I got. Okay, so the first thing which I got, and this is much needed and has been much needed and will be much needed, is this desoldering pump. <laughs> and um, I am excited about this because I do have uh, projects coming up and this is going to save a lot of time and effort <laughs> and a lot of soldering braid or wick. So. Okay, so the manual is not in English <laughs> whatsoever. So, you know, this is basically just like a blind... Yeah, this is just... Okay, let's take this out and see the actual thing itself, which is here. <laughs> okay, so let's just take everything out here. The um, packaging and the boxing... Uh, the boxing... The box! <laughs> and... Um, uh, move this away. This too. This away. Right. And uh, when the kid shuts up for a second. Okay, this one runs on 220 volts. It's a European version. And um, okay, so the plug itself, I do not recognize, despite it being quite cute. <laughs> um, so I don't even have an adapter for this, so this is going to have to be cut and changed. So that I will do in just a moment. Okay, you can select the temperature here from 350 to 450 degrees. Okay, it also comes with these two um, you know, pins that are, you know, you're supposed to unblock it. And you put it inside here and you unblock if there's any solder that gets, you know, stuck there or something like this. So it comes with two of these. I don't know what the the round pads that are inside here, I don't know what they're for. Okay, this does not look very nice. I don't know what the footy cup in there. Oh, we didn't get shot or something. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, it comes with a, a sponge. And the actual, of course, the holder and stand, which is kind of heavy. It's not heavier than the actual... <laughs> That's actually slightly heavier than the actual gun itself. <laughs> this seems pretty good, but do be careful because you can cut yourself on some of these edges. Like that there. Yes, there's some edges on there you got to be careful about. These are fine, but it's more this part. The box is out of the way. This thing is, you know, kept like this, though it's constantly touching the top bed all the time. I mean, everything seems well built. Basically, there is a pump here, and uh, that's the iron part here, which heats up the element, the heating element. And when it, you know, sucks the solder, it collects it in here, which you can easily just, you know, empty out just like that. And that's basically it. That's how it works. So, so let's get this thing changed and we'll test this thing. Okay, so everything is done and I'm plugging it in. And nervous. <laughs> um. Ah! Okay, it works. <laughs> Freaking. Okay, so that is on and heating up, as you can see from the LED there. I don't know why it's flashing. As you can see, the smoke coming out of the tip, which is... Okay, why well, is a sign that it's heating up? Let's hope. And that the uh, residue is burning. Okay, sponge has been ordered. I guess I have a basic uh, little circuit board that I got from the attic somewhere. I think it's just like a little basic PSU of some sort. And uh, I'm gonna try and desolder some capacitors and components of it to see how good this thing is. Okay, so let's start off with this big capacitor here, you know, as a first one, and let's see how that goes. Wow. Wow. Did that just kind of like, you know, make that solder disappear? Okay, so you melt it first. 
The iron is always on, so you melt it first. first. And that capacitor should just come right off. And it does! <laughs> okay, let's do that again because I don't think you saw it clear. Um, but also because I'm actually... I enjoyed that. <laughs> because I'm excited now. Oops. I'm excited now. So let's uh, let's do this capacitor here. I am freaking impressed. Seriously. Let's do the other leg, which is this. Okay, so you let it melt. It's loud. Oh, it got it off. <laughs> it actually fell out. I didn't even realize, but it just fell out. Okay, two capacitors came out. One, this one here, and the other one here and they're clean cut. Okay, so what I'm gonna actually test with this is uh, through hull desoldering uh, and if that works I'll be excited <laughs> and I wish I'd cut this or came across this earlier. So I have my old Commodore 64 motherboard in the newer case. <laughs> this is the set tip. I have my eye on that today. <laughs> but anyway, let's try and desolder one of these capacitors. Okay, so first things first, we'll try and uh, remove this uh, friendly tab here. Make sure you heat it first. The airflow will just cool it down. I'm speaking as if I know everything about this. I don't. That's <laughs> what I'm assuming. Oh my god. Oh my god, it just came out. I wish I had this gun when I was recapping all these. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to remove that SID chip there because SID is treasure <laughs> to me and uh, it is expensive, it is rare and I want it off this board. If I do repair this board, board again, I will, um, you know, put a socket in there and then you know, fix that. So. I've decided to show the footage of my desoldering the SID chip in real time without any cuts or edits. Well, except for in between doing each side of the chip as my niece entered the room and started talking to me. <laughs> but this is just to give you an idea of how long it took me to remove the SID chip. Bear in mind, it's the first I've used a device like this and I'm sure I'll speed up in time with more practice. I must also point out that I kept going back to reheat and desolder certain pins which I just simply didn't need to. I kept thinking I've not done it properly and uh, you know, but it was fine, you know, the first time. This pump is a little on the loud side, but honestly it's not so bad. It beats sitting there for hours, wrestling the freaking component while holding a braid or wick and, and on the soldering iron. And I also can feel no difference between the soldering components from a normal board and, and through-hole components. The difficulty levels, you know, feel somehow the same. Not to mention it's less messy. In other words, there is no flux residue which I need to clean off, you know, afterwards from dipping my wick or braid in the flux. I was puzzled initially when trying to categorize this video into my playlist because it is actually useful for those, uh, you know, who are into audio and music just as much as it is for those who are into retro computing. And, uh, of course, even for those who are just simply in, you know, love electronics. I mean, at some point, we all need to replace capacitors and or desolder an IC or components, right? So, yeah, I've decided to just put this in all my playlists. Even though I was having doubts about it because there is no branding that I know, I mean I don't know the brand or model number whatsoever, it was a bit of a gamble, but it's actually well built and doesn't seem flimsy whatsoever. I'm glad the previous desoldering pump actually didn't arrive because it's nowhere near as good as this. Well, it didn't, I don't think it was a pump to begin with, I think it was more of a solenoid. I feel that it getting lost in the mail was 
a blessing in disguise. I will show you what the pump actually look like and I will also link the gentleman's YouTube video where I discovered this new pump. He also has the coupon codes in his description so if you're you know, if you're gonna get this do remember to put the coupon codes in and get yourself a discount. But with regards to this we'll see what happens when I do my next you know major de uh, recap recapping which there's quite a few coming on so <laughs> I will get the chance to do that. So we'll see how it goes in, you know, real life use. It's not heating up as much, you know, due to the soldering contact. It's warm, of course, that's normal. But let me just see if I can get that out. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. It actually came out. The easiest IC soldering of uh, desoldering I've ever done. Okay, that is one original chip, my favorite. <laughs> so, yes. Um, okay, I do not think I need to say how happy I am with this um, solder with this desoldering pump because you know everything has. Well, it's self-explanatory. You know, I have. A, a sit chip now, which I just desoldered so unbelievably easily. I've never desoldered anything this easy before. So yeah, needless to say, I am happy that this is gonna be. You know, I'm gonna save hours of wick and and flux freaking gazing. So anyway, let's move on to the next thing I want to show you. Okay, so the next thing I I want to talk about is my soldering station uh, because also because many of you have asked about it uh, which one it is you know etc so uh, it is a web 942 but I believe this is a clone of a Hakko 942 uh, and this actually accepts I'm not sure if this um, this thing itself is Hakko as in you know the, um, the end piece the actual iron part itself but this accepts hacko tips now I have got myself a set of hacko compatible tips which I am again you know <laughs> I needed it it was long overdue so let's see how they fit I'll put them on okay so these I also got from the same place as the desoldering um, iron uh, the desoldering pump sorry I don't even know what to call it. Is it called a desoldering pump, a desoldering iron? I don't know. Anyway, so I got this uh, from the same place, uh, banggood.com. <laughs> um, and yeah, the link is in the description below. Uh, what? <laughs> These are long overdue. Okay, so this pack comes with a multitude of tips, and uh, two of them are just like the tip which I have you know, currently installed there it's just you know the um the point tip and it's two different sizes this one's thicker and this one's thinner and it also comes with like a point tip but it has a flat it's been flattened at the edge there and this is just a, a larger version of this so that i think this is probably the most likely the one which i'm going to keep there maybe um Oh, install and maybe or it might be actually I'll probably install one of these uh, or it's got these angular chisel tips um, which also come in two sizes in fact I might just put this one in this one here anyway so let's see if these Hako tips install in mine and I think they will so. and when you take this out you can see the ceramic heater I love this um, the soldering station. It's just it heats up uh, very well. It dissipates the heat very well. Everything is just I don't know. It works way better than the one I used to have, which was like you know some cheaper one like that. And then you put this back around it again. And just, there you go that tip is replaced and let's test it now so let's see more to that sponge because it's dry and I put too much water in it and turn it on it 
and it fits and it works. Everything is just good. Now let's solder back that capacitor which we desoldered out of that Commodore 64 because it was one which I had replaced. Right, so we have uh, that um, capacitor there. It's not the place where the capacitor needs to go. And it's the one which I desoldered out uh, earlier on. So let's just solder this back in and it'll be test enough for me. So the negative goes here. And that capacitor, of course, soldered in beautifully. I wish to thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you found it interesting and useful. And also, thanks so much for your likes, your shares, and do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, do subscribe for more. Don't forget to check out my other videos. And until next time, I say adios.